all dear two students welcome to now my next lecture in this linear transition physics in the previous lecture we have seen the electronic configuration of the lanthanide series and based upon the electronic configuration we have seen the first property the is oxidation state so in addition to the oxidation state all the lanthanides plus two oxidation state can be common oxidation state and plus two and the plus four these are the anomalous oxidation state so before going to the next property i can summarize two points here they are each lanthanide can show variable oxidation state the reason is that the presence of the empty or the vacant cells with small difference in the energy electron transfer from the one subshell to the other subshell can be possible so this uh, transfer of electron from the one subshell to other subshell and subsequent loss of the electron is the main reason for the variable oxidation state in addition to the thermodynamic and the kinetic considerations the stability associated with a power of zero that is vacant configuration the stability associated with the power of seven that is half tilt configuration and the stability associated with the power of fourteen configuration that is full tilt configuration is the main reason for the variable oxidation state in case of the lanthanide in addition to the other thermodynamic factor in today's lecture before on the electronic configuration we are going to start the next property that is magnetic property now magnetic property of the lanthanides is the best upon tag that Every electron is considered as a small micromagnet, having certain value of the magnetic moment. Each electron consists of the certain value of the magnetic moment. Now, each electron consists of the two type of the motion. Can I give you what type of the motion are there? So every electron is considered to be one is the spin motion, and second is the orbital motion. So effective magnetic moment in case of the lanthanides, if you take an effective magnetic moment. Nu is considered to be the combination of the spin motion and the orbital motion. So that is contribution due to spin motion and contribution due to orbital motion. of it so combined contribution of the spin motion and orbital motion can give rise to the effective magnetic moment in case of the electron so which quantum number is responsible for the spin motion of the electron that is spin quantum number f and which contribution to orbital motion which quantum number is contributed here that is the azimuthal quantum number So the mean protomagnetic moment, which is present in any particular atom of the ion, is the presence of the unpaired electrons present in that substance here. Now, when substance is placed in the magnetic field, then two positions can be there. 
either they can be aligned themselves. in opposition to the magnetic field. In the second, they can remain parallel. So when they align themselves in the opposition, in the opposition magnetic field, the frequency is the, you can say the diamagnetic. And when they are parallel to this magnetic field, they are paramagnetic. Remember the diamagnetic substance, Remember the diamagnetism, can anybody tell? So diamagnetism means magnetism in which all the electrons are the pure, then we can say the diamagnetic. And when the electrons are the unpure, one or more electrons are the unpure, then we can say they are paramagnetic substances. So this phenomena can be occurred by the in lanthanide, maybe diamagnetic or the paramagnetic. Now, when substance is placed in the magnetic field, they can align themselves and they can do the opposite in the motion. So, in that case, the individual contribution of the magnetic moment can be described here, and that's why they can suffer the magnetic. In parametrism, the individual contribution can be, cannot be nullified. And that's why this can be given the certain type of the magnetic moment here. So this is the first of part where the two types of the magnetism for occur and the time magnetism, the second is the paramagnetic. The third one is also the other the ferromagnetic substances. The compounds of the metal further, we can say the ferromagnetic. When there is the extreme case of the paramagnetism, extreme case in the safe part, extreme case of the paramagnetism, that means the substances which are concerned, which are the highly paramagnetic, highly paramagnetic, then they call the ferromagnetic. Highly paramagnetic, when we can say the highly paramagnetic, if that compound, if the metals or it can be ions, it contains large number, more number, we can say, more number of unpaired electrons. Then we call the aeromagnetic compost. Now, second concept in the magnetic properties is the differences in the properties of the transmetal fan and the inner transmetal. Now, if transmetal ions are upon in transmetal ions, the electrons which are responsible for the magnetic properties are the inner n minus n minus one d electrons, and this n minus one d electrons are the these are the electrons are the outer electrons. That is why when these electrons come in contact with the surrounding ligand tube. Then the orbital moment will be get point the other described. I just have told the protomagnetic moment is the effect magnetic moment is the combined contribution of pin motion and the orbital motion. Pin and the orbital motion. So in transient metal ion I have this Electron which are in the outspot say gets affected or if affected by the front ligand tube, then the orbital contribution can be destroyed, or we can say the orbital contribution is uh, insignificant. That's why it can be get quenched. So as the orbital momentum can get quenched here in case of transient lines, then the effective moment is due to the only spin quantum number or the spin motion electrons, and not by the orbital motion. And therefore, in transmetal ions, the effective moment can be calculated by means of the power. 
Ясен дубат 5 лет класса. А если вы коллегу ян байку, вы кто-то спинал, да? Он припал. So it could be my moment in case of the class and the line can be done by this part. And if you consider the number of unpaired props, the number of unpaired props can be considered, the epigmatic moment can be given by formula n equal to n plus 2 in terms of the menu over mega props. So here n equal to number of unpaired props. And here the s equal to total spin of the unpaired prop. So this is why the magnetic moment in case of transimeter line is significant in case of only spin motion while the orbital motion of the electron is an insignificant contribution. And that is the reason that the transimeter ions can be the only spin motion of the electron. So what happens in case of the inner transimeter? Now inner transfer elements will be considered the which electrons are responsible for the magnetic property in inner transfer elements. Which electrons are responsible? The electrons that are responsible for the magnetic properties are the four F electrons. Now this four F electron electron configuration is you known for four F n five zero six s two. So these electrons which are F electrons are there, the electrons are deeply inside, they are very inside and they are well protected by the outer layer of the 5 f 5 3 or 5 layer of the And being the electrons for the inner shell, these electrons when come in contact with the outer uh, surrounding medium field, then they will be not affected because they are well protected, they are inside. So they are deeply buried. So this because of this the environmental factor does not have any effect on this inner electron. So orbital momentum, which is the contribution due to this earth, as you the quantum number here. Yeah. So that orbital contribution, the orbital motion electron is not the destroyed we can see. That means we can say orbital momentum is not a quenched. That means the orbital momentum is so significant. So in addition to the spin motion, the orbital motion is also significant in case of the inner trans elements because these electrons are inside the cell. And they are deeply buried and they are well protected by the outer, outer number. So therefore, in case of the inner trans element, the effective magnetic moment is due to the combined contribution of the both spin and the orbital motion of the electrons. Therefore, we can rephrase the effective magnetic moment mu f plus r that is the spin motion and the orbital motion. That is the formula for F, F plus 1 and plus L, L plus 1. So this is the formula where yes is the spin motion of the electron orbital. Contribution due to spin motion. And here is the contribution to the orbital motion. So that means here, if you compare the new F plus L, the epidemiotic moment in case of the inner trans element, and if you compare this epidemiotic moment in case of the spin motion only, then which magnetic moment is higher 
in spin motion or in case of the pin and orbital motion. So we think that the Ramesh will be the combined contribution of the spin motion as well as the orbital motion. And therefore, the value of the magnetic moment in case of the inner transient wave is higher than the spin motion wave in case of the transition event. So if you calculate this effective magnetic moment by this formula, then one more formula also we can give. That is cos the I mean repeated magnetic moment mu is equal to g into the set j into j plus 1. Your g is called the gyromagnetic ratio. And it is the ratio in the case of this uh, ratio of the magnetic moment. On the angular momentum, orbital angular momentum. So it is the dimensionless quantity, you can say. In case of here, in region, in physics also, this gravity ratio is used, and in physics it is given by the other notation, but it is a magnetic moment again the angular momentum. But in case of this, our continuum. But the concern, the electrons which are present in the closed system concern, G is the dimensional quantity, this is the ratio. And G is the total angular momentum. Total angular momentum representing P motion plus orbital motion. And this can be performed when j is equal to L plus F or j is equal to L minus F. Accordingly, value can be changed. So now just we can go to some calculation part of the observation of the actual magnetic moment and theoretical magnetic wave moment in case of the lantern. So here you have the ion, then I try positive ion, we can see. And then in other column, we have the number of unpaired trons. Then we have the effective magnetic moment. Is, which is a theoretical we can say. In the interest of the new way also. It is a theoretical. And here it is. Actual or the experiment you can see. Calculate it. Then we can say the ion. Number of pair trans ion suppose, and this is the new theoretical and experiment. We are not writing the configuration of the tripartite lantern ion. So I already mentioned it is a tripartite, so only writing the lantern ion. Serium, Barsolanium, Neuralium, Prometheum, Amarium, and Europium. Then you have the Gyarodium, Erbium, Dysprosium, Hornium, Indian, Trulium, Interbulum. And okay. So here you can write this or uh, you can write the LA3 plus like that also. No doubt. Now if you calculate the number of unpaired electrons here in this cell, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
regarding them, we do that. Seven, and then six, and then five, and then four, and three, and two, one, and two. And calculate the value, theoretical value will be the zero for the value. We can get the 2.54 for the value. 3.54. Eight, two point sixty two, two point seventy, zero point eighty four. In case of the theoretical part, gadolinium, next part, factor six, we have the seven point nine. We have the nine point seven. Then we have the ten point sixty five, ten point six four. Then we have here the LBM has the nine point six. Helium has the seven point six. The turbine has the four point fifty four. And rotation of the zero. So here, if we calculate the experimental value here, <coughs> so this is the third value of the new. And the formula we are given in case of spin motion and compression of the orbital motion. But the actual value we are predicting here by an element. Then lanthan has a value found to be zero. The cerium has a value found to be the so two point three to two point five in the range. Here three point three to three point five. Three point four to three point six in the range. Now promethium is the radioactive element. As you know. And that's why promethium has the electron pair 4 product. And that's why theoretical value calculated will be 2.70. But in promethium, the actual magnetic moment is found to be 0. It will be reductive element, it will be unstable, and very short half life period. Samarium has the 1.5 to 1.6 in the range. Europium has the 3.4 to 3.6. The gadolinium has a 7.8 to the 8 here. 9.4 to 9.6. Here in the range of the 10.3 to 10.5, 10.4 to 10.5, or 10.6 in the range. So 9.6 is there for so 9.4 to 9.66. 7.6, so 7.5, we can say 7.5, 60. So 7.1 to 7.5. And in case of the rotation, Ytterbium is very 4.5, 4.4 to 4.9. Last element, rotation of the value, 0. So this is the magnetic moment of the lanthanide, theoretical as well as the object. So from this, what is your observation regarding this magnetic moment? So value of this Effective magnetic moment is mostly in the close agreement with the value of 10 experiment P. With a few exceptions here. Therefore, promethium has a different value. 
the European has the numerator term for the six here, but then also third the value term to be zero. But experiment is found to be three point four to three point six to the right. So the entire three plus five here, which contains the value from zero one here. Then we have the rotation is there, which has the value zero. If you have a cerium 4 plus, the cerium 4 plus will have the value electron for the G. So, tripartite lanthanide, tetrapartite lanthanide, tetrapartite cerium, and the tripartite rotation, they all are the diamagnetic because they are all the electrons are the pure or no unpaired electron failure. While in case of the Yard limit there which contain the seven number of the unpaired term, which contain the maximum number of electrons on plus seven. It is highly paramagnetic can see. So yard aluminum. The exception of this tripartite lanthanides and the tripartite all are the paramagnetic. Because in this case, both one or more than one electron for the unpaired. I have told earlier the extreme case of the thermodynamism is the thermodynamism. And in that, those who contain the six for the seven electrons unpaired, that is, European or the Galilean, Serbia, Escocia, or somewhere in here, they are highly paramagnetic, you can say, that is, they are the pyramid. Now, in the same value, if we plot the graph again the atomic number versus the magnetic moment, then we can what type of the theory of ten that we will see now. So plot of the magnetic moments. Again, the atomic number here. So, here is the lanthanide, here is the cerium, here is the plus uranium, and new uranium, promethium, samarium, europium, gadolinium, terbium, dysprosium, holmium, erbium, thulium, ectabium, and rutasium. Here we have the value of so 2, 4, 6. 8, 10, maximum 10 are If you take the last scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, say 1, 8, 9, 10. Likewise, if you put the value length along the 0 is here, cerium 1, casodanium, from where 3, 3 point fifty eight from where here, the new uranium from where here, then promethium 2.7 disciples, uranium 1.84, 3.8. So this is the plot we can get in here. And then we have the holmium and erbium, dysprosium, holmium, erbium, with their research of the value of erbium, dysprosium, nearly 10 point year value. And I So the curve of 10 year will be like this. So this is the binaural curve we can see. The curve is the binaural. And the binaural curve shows the curve which is obtained by the combined contribution of the spin motion and <coughs> orbital motion.
So here, if you plot the graph of the number of electrons on here, and then and then the value by the throttle melting moment here, then we can get the straight time curve here. For that curve line, so we have the naive and neodymium, which are the highest value. So two peaks are here in Prasodan and Neodymium. And here we have the Holmium and the Yale. So third the curve is obtained by passing this highest value of the gadolinium here. Gadolinium is highest value taken. So we can get this kind of the line. So dotted line, single line, dotted line so that is the third curve. Okay. The third curve is called the straight line, dotted straight line so that there is the nature for the theoretical magnetic moment. Why the parallel curve suggesting the two peaks, one have the prasodamium neodymium, and other will be the Dysplosium holbium is and the highest value. So, what this shows, if you show, let us see the formula G effect margin when mu is equal to G into J into J plus 1. Now, when the cell is the half free, less than half free. Then G is equal to L minus F. I indicate that the cell is less than the half -way. At that time, if you see the cell is less than half -way. in fact, it contains the seven less than the seven by electron. In that case, the value of the magnetic moment is very less here. What is the reason here? Because here, when cell is less than half way, the free motion and orbital motion are opposing each other. They are opposing each other, and that's why the value of the magnetic moment is found to be the less. But when J is equal to L plus F, then in that case, the value of the magnetic moment is found to be the higher. Why? Because in that case, the pin motion and orbital motions are not upon each other, but they can act together. That is the reason that the spin motion, the pneumatic moment in case of the lanthanide, we say is more than half feet. Say is more than half feet. Will be in the higher, and that's why magnetic moment is less. Now, the magnetic moment is not depend upon your, the number of electrons here. So, if seven number of electrons are here, and in case of the European name gadolinium, then gadolinium must have the highest magnetic moment, but highest magnetic moment is not observed in gadolinium, but in some other cases. Here. And this is where I have that three type of magnetism with your electrons which contain the ions which do not contain the unpaired electrons. All the electrons are the pure, then they are diamagnetic. Examples for the category is the lanthanide 3 plus, then you have the lutetium 3 plus, and cerium. Plus. Then also we have the ytterbium 2 plus which contains all the electrons of the pair. Then from cerium 3 plus to the lutetium ytterbium 3 plus, all are the which contain the one or more unpaired electrons. That's why all these ions are the. Paramagnetic. Ytterbium 3 
rotation 3 plus will be the diagonal. It will be on 2 plus will be the, it will be on 3 plus will be the parametric, but it will be on 2 plus will be the diagonal. While those contain the highest number of electrons, European, etc. European, Galilean, Caribbean, Dysplosia. Then, Dysplosia, Holmium, all these contains more no number of electrons, that is 6 and 7 or 5. But they are highly paramagnetic, and that's why they are ferromagnetic. So, magnetic ohm property we can classify or distribute into different parts. First, we have to state what type of the magnetisms are there in electron ions, and then what type of motions are there, the spin motion, orbital motion, electron. combined contribution, either they align in a position in magnetic field or they parallel. Accordingly, they are diagnostic or the parallel. Then you have to explain the difference between the magnetic property of transient metal ions and the inner transient metal ions. Their formula for calculation property. Then you have to plot the graph of the number of electrons on pure. That is the number of electrons on pure at 300 Kelvin temperature. The parameters of property, magnetic moment is also here. So, atomic number again the effective magnetic moment mu here in case of the bore magnetons. The plot is a binary curve that is also by magnetic moment and particle magnetic moment we are showing by this straight line dotted line. So, what are the differences are also that you have to mention? And so this will depend the magnetic properties. Of the transient life. The question can be asked on this part that on the basis of the magnetic properties, so give a brief account on the magnetic property of the lantern life. That is one question will be possible. <coughs> Second, based on the electronic configuration. Explain the magnetic property of the electrolytes. That is a good point. And in addition to that, some short question as well for two months or three months, this of all this part. So, go through to this all these magnetic concepts for which you have time here. And then, in the next lecture, we are going to study a very important phenomenon. That is length and contraction and its consequences. Thank you.